so just to say this was not a fun day for us here but it's just one of those things that needed doing and now we are happy that we're all legal with our sheep and goats. As you probably saw on our other social media platforms that we had some crazy, crazy weather, crazy flooding storms. Just to let everybody know, she is an old lady, she's a everybody. I'm Emma and this is Edu, with the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue. We are a small non-profit, self-founded, eco-friendly animal sanctuary, born in 2018. We are run by a great big family of volunteers. And an even bigger animal family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to follow our Finca Life adventures every week. Welcome back, Finca family, to this week's episode of Finca Life, where lots of weird things are happening. <laughs> but we'll, we'll start with what's going on behind me. And how do, I, how do I explain? Long story short, you hear me complain a lot about legal stuff and paperwork and getting things sorted. We've been waiting for things like this. And finally, we have got to the point where we can register these, um, the paperwork to get the sheep and the pigs and the goats on as well. And that's how we're starting. We're having to tag them, which is really sad. We don't want to do it. And they're not having a fun time because we've got to tag all their ears. But it's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Visitors have arrived. The dogs say hello. Okay, so it's... it's it's quick and painless, but they're not having a fun time. So we got the vet out to come and help us. And we had to call the, call the, ah, call the compost boys to help us as well, because there's quite a lot of animals to do. And I think this is going to take us a long time. So let's get started, I suppose. Unfortunately, this was not a fun day for our sheep and goats. Although it's something we have been waiting for for a long time to finally get the legalities to make it illegal that we can register our sheep and goats, it's still not something we really want to do. And it was actually quite horrible to do. And if you watch Lena's face throughout this, you see her experiencing the pain. I think actually she experienced the pain more than they did. Luckily, it was over very quickly, and I think the most traumatizing bit was us chasing them around. So we had to tag them so that we can finally register them here on our sanctuary, um, so that we can keep them safe, to say which ones we have, and make it all finally legal. So here, with the first sheep, you may have seen in previous videos who we have, but you probably can't recognize them. They, we, in the first sheep family we rescued, I don't remember exactly when, it was about, I think, over a year ago, but Mama Sheep was, came first with her baby Freddie and she is unrecognisable. We thought that she was very old, she was skin and bones when she came and she had a baby that she couldn't look after, so we actually bottle fed Freddie and we expected Mum to pass away. However, she has transformed into a big, fluffy, happy, healthy sheep and she is absolutely unrecognisable, so we're super happy about this. So we've got a lovely little happy sheep family, which is Mama, Freddy and Leela, which is Auntie Leela. And then we've got the other two, which is Curry and Coco. They came from friends of friends and they're very happy sheep as well. But in with our sheep, we have the two babies, actually the baby goats, one called baby goat, baby goat Yin. He's actually too young, so he's got away with this. He doesn't have to have the tag yet. And then we've got Tommy, who's just old enough. They're inside with the sheep because they're not tough enough to go inside with the goats yet. The sheep are much more friendly. But as you can see, this is just one of those things that we have to do here with the animals in the sanctuary. Another day at Finca Life of 
interesting things going on. The compost team did not expect it. Cormac actually said this was one of the weirdest days that he had for here. <laughs> it's a bit different of chasing, moving compost every day to chasing sheep and goats. So now the gang move on to the goats. I had to run off to the office at this point because I had a call and it's all drama happening in the office. As always, we had visitors coming and not enough volunteers to show them around, but I left them in the capable hands of chasing the goats. Luckily I did, as I think this took them a lot longer. Our goats are in a bit of a temporary place. Well, our sheep are in a temporary place as well until we move to the new land. But our goats it goes all the way around our cave house and office, but it's got one side which is not complete because it got damaged in the storm. So they're in a bit of a temporary place, but it's quite big. And um, so they had to chase them round and round to catch them. The sheep, were, uh, the sheep were easier. The goats were not quite so happy about, um, about what to have to go on. So Mare, you may have seen recently, she um, was suffering. She was quite sick a while back, but she is doing well now. We still don't know exactly what happened, but she is very old and we've had her a long time and she had a traumatic past. But we're happy to say she's doing quite well at the moment. And we've got Heidi as well, Asterix and Susie. So just to say, this was not a fun day for us here, but it's just one of those things that needed doing. And now we are happy that we're all legal with our sheep and goats. And they've already forgotten about it. Once we gave them some yummy food, they soon forgave us and moved on. So this episode, there's a lot of me doing voiceovers. It was a good timing because I have a sore throat and it's making a, uh, making my voice so much nicer so I hope you enjoy this but apologies because we I wasn't around for a lot of this and we just wanted to try and keep up what was going on as you probably saw on our other social media platforms that we had some crazy crazy weather crazy flooding storms which actually meant we didn't have a lot of electric we didn't have a lot of wi-fi so we couldn't keep you up to date much but we did manage to film some of the chaos which was going on some of the animal areas which were flooding some of the rooms some of the volunteer spaces the actual areas just turned into like a lake. It was something that we have never experienced before. And some of the animals were quite happy about it. Volunteers not so much, because uh, we were flooding everywhere, but it was amazing to see the communi community of volunteers pulled together to make it work. You know, just weeks before we were complaining that we had no water and we had to carry buckets next door to feed the horses, uh, to water the horses, and we don't have this problem anymore. We are at the opposite, so we have to be careful what we ask for. But yeah, there was a lot of lot of damage around on the islands, but you know, dream work makes the teamwork, no, teamwork makes the dream work, should I say. The amazing community really pulled together and somehow we survived. And a big thank you to everybody who helped us online as well and supported us through the flood and helped donate towards the repairs that probably are gonna be need to done in the next week or so. managed to film the extreme weather at the beginning because we didn't want to be outside with cameras and things like this. We just want to show you a bit of the aftermath which came a couple days later. So believe it or not, this was actually already starting to dry up.
exactly watching this footage at the same time as I'm recording this, so I'm, I'm, I'm as surprised as you are. Some of these volunteers I really have to thank and it was absolutely amazing. As you see here, we have the winner of the flooded accommodation. One morning Cormac came out to us and laughing and said he actually had to swim out of his bed. And it's amazing, he had to laugh or, his, or he cried. Quite a lot of them have been flooded, but this is definitely the winner. Eat that there thing. Go. Now she's on tight. Okay. Oh, she's here. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, everybody. Here I am again. And I'm here to introduce you a new member of our family. Today, as uh, uh, we had a new free spot in our dog family, we went to collect uh, a new uh, dog from uh, Tierra Blanca, that is one of the biggest shelter, bigger dog shelter in the island. Uh, we try to always to collaborate it, uh, to give a new opportunity for all dogs. And as well, we collaborated with a uh, uh, Belgium association that, I'm really sorry, I, uh, I cannot pronounce the name. <laughs> but uh, with them, we already uh, collaborated to uh, take a, a couple of dogs from Tierra Blanca, it was uh, Wonky, Lumpy, uh, Porky and Flaca. And Flaca is the one that, uh, for uh, who follow us, uh, last month uh, found uh, uh, finally her forever home and uh, she flew to uh, Holland. So now she is running in the Greenfield in Holland. And as we had the free spot, we went, we uh, always in the collaboration with the same association, we uh, talk with the Tierra Blanca and they had uh, another old. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. An uh, old. Uh, friendly and smiley dog that she would like to uh, finish uh, uh, her life in happiness and freedom. So here she is. Just to let everybody know, she is an old lady. She's a uh, everybody. She's uh, 13 years old and suddenly the last nine spent in the dog shelter. So she have to be a bit... Oi, uh, <laughs> oi. Train to be uh, uh, a free dog because uh, here is what we are trying to uh, teach them to be free again, not to be in a cage in a little room. But of course, the first weeks uh, is gonna be always on the lead with someone uh, of us, of some uh, of the, our volunteers, and then uh, slowly, step by step, we're gonna try to let her uh, free like everybody else. And uh, yeah, and finish her life in freedom and happiness. As you can see, she doesn't miss any food, but she miss walking and running around. And is what she wanna do. So for the moment uh, we can say goodbye and we're gonna have the first tour in the Finca. And lastly, for this week's episode, look what we have. Uh, firstly, I want to apologize also slightly for my voice. 
and why I'm wearing a scarf and what you might think is, you know, sunny. It has been sunny, but we've had some bad weather as you've just seen. And, uh, and that's, that's, well, no, that's not the reason for this voice. That was just coincidental. It feels like really wintry. It feels wintry. We've all got a bit of a cold and stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyway, on that, welcome to our temporary office because the other office flooded. This is actually mine and Edu's kitchen and we had to use the other office to store all the horse stuff in because half of it was leaking and half of it was filling in. And the new office, which we had planned to move into last weekend, had flooded. So it's been a bit chaotic. So we're in here, which is our kitchen. And I'm going to show you for one second because you can't see it all. Have a little sneaky peek of our new website. That's all you're getting. Um, maybe a sneaky peek of the homepage. Because, uh, you know, we've been telling you that we were sponsored. One of our volunteers who came uh, from here, um, I don't know when she left, when Vicky left. I can't remember. How long ago? I don't know. But she, uh, we had a graphic design volunteer and it's amazing. Actually, we've got a little testimony from her. I'm going to put in a video soon once I really launched the website. And she designed something beautiful. And Uncle Andrew, who is, it's not really our uncle, but we call him Uncle Andrew, who sponsored us, um, setting up the website and doing stuff so they've been working really hard to create something amazing we're just trying to create the content so a little sneaky view of how beautiful it's going to look but that's it you're not allowed to see anymore because that's gonna have a good launch so let's just get get you excited but anyway back to the main point sponsored by Lucilin, an amazing amazing company we love them they've actually been helping us since I don't know since the beginning well I used to buy their products when I was back in the UK because because it's good. And then when I messaged them about wanting to get products like this here for its um, like antiseptic and good for wounds and things for the animals. And I wanted to get something like this. <laughs> Don't know if you picked up that. The capital of Thailand. Behind you is all the, everyone piled up on my uh, kitchen, <laughs> on my kitchen table, complete with cats and volunteers behind. And uh, I can't get in. And yeah, I messaged them about trying to get the products here and then they liked what we were doing and then they sponsored us some products here, which was even more amazing because I didn't expect that. Wow, this is taking me some time to get in. And uh, it really is fantastic. And since then we've got so many people addicted to their products because they're really, really good. And, um, and they really have helped so much the wounds. Do you remember when, um, that was a long time ago, but Cadet had a big proud uh, injury on his leg and a big proud leg and it really helped to get that in and Chavi as well with his big injuries on his legs. Oh my God, look, I just got inside and it's another box. <laughs> I just got one box and I'm back inside to another box. Um, this is a joke, maybe it's just lots of boxes. And it helped us to recover. Um, Chavi, I can't get in. <laughs> can you pull the, out, pull the inside box? I don't know if you can. It's a box in a box. <laughs> we had so much trouble <laughs> pulling my chair. <laughs> There you go. Well, yeah, that's a fair idea. That's... We had so much prob problem trying to get hold of this because we've been waiting. Oh, cut your fingers. Yay, there we go, we're in. We are in. Ta -da. Shall I go back to my checkerboard? Ta da! We struggled so much to get this because it's actually a UK company and it's amazing. And we struggled so much to get it out here and they've been. So I really have to give them a really big thanks, actually, because we tried, they tried to send it directly to us and it got stuck in customs. Bowley spent a long time on the phone trying to sort out, remember, this was that stuff that got stuck in customs and then in the end went back. No way. Yeah, all that time ago. And then they actually sent it to somewhere else in the UK, which is Mark, who's a guy, um, and we're, I'm going to put a tag below for this of him as well, because he, they sponsored us the products, they sent it to Mark's, and Mark brought it from Ashro Shipping, and they bring it to us, and all of that was free of charge because everyone wants to help the animals and everyone's helping together. So that took, they kept trying after, I think it took about five months to get it here. Yeah. It was a long time, right? And they kept persevering because they knew how much we needed it, and Mark jumped in to help us, so she shipped it to him, he brought it to us, and now we have it, and now the animals get the benefit. So thank you so much to Lucilin. Thank you so much to Mark. That's amazing. And flick it. So anyway, that's enough of today's video, I think. We will love you and leave you with that. And as always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Comment below any thoughts that you have, any questions, any animals you'd like to see, updates. I know that some of you asked, could you like to see a bit more about Star and the new kittens? And they are on our to-do list. And um, 
we would like to give you an update them. Ah, oh, actually, you did ask to have an update about Peter and the garden. However, he's gone away for a few months. Um, he's gone back to India, and um, uh, and then he will return in the new year, and then hopefully we've kept his garden alive for him until then with the other volunteers. And then you get an update on Peter and his garden. We just, fingers crossed, we keep it alive. But we do listen to your comments. I promise we will catch up when we can, and we appreciate them so much. Every time you comment, engage, watch our videos, it helps us directly help animals like this lot. So thank you, as always. Don't forget also to press that bell. Apparently I don't tell you that enough. I don't actually only just learn what it does, but if you press that bell, it then alerts you when one of our videos is up and then you can watch it. So thank you very much and see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>